Hello YouTubers, Lowly Traveler again. Welcome to another edition of Big Rig Gourmet. Special edition, MREs. Today we're going to have, let's see it, menu number nine, beef stew. Break it open. I've already opened it, so. There we are, all kinds of goodies. First, let's get the one that's on the floor. Got your spoon, of course. Get that out and ready. Got some crackers. Just regular crackers. Let's open them up. Oh, geez. There in the middle. Carrot pound cake. Mm. That's good and moist. Not bad for being almost three years old. Yeah, your accessory packet, lemon uh, flavored iced tea, uh, chocolate gum, Tabasco sauce, salt, wet nap, and toilet paper. You might notice if the chocolate gum has a red packaging like this, it's cinnamon flavored. If it's got the clear packaging, it's uh, like this, it's peppermint flavored. So a little food for thought there. We have French vanilla, cappuccino, instant powder. I will not take time to make this. Of course, your flameless ration heater, which is already in use. Got some peanut butter. Go ahead and open that up. Put it on one of my crackers. Oh, hold on. That needs to be bigger. That little bitty hole is just not going to cut it, so we'll... There we go. That's better. Put that there. We'll go ahead and spread that a little bit. Oops. Cracker just broke. Come oh, on, man. Be good. Be nice to me. I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second. Anyway. The reason I did that was for my next ingredient, apple jelly. Uh oh. That little snip. I'll just spread a little bit of the apple jelly. Oh. Things are not wanting to cooperate today, my goodness. This hole's too small, make it bigger. There we go. Alrighty. Of course you have your hot beverage bag. No surprise there. Got garlic mashed potatoes, which have already been heated. And we have our main course, beef stew. Now I was able to get both the beef stew and the mashed potatoes in this box together, so. And, oh my goodness, it's hot. There we are. So, first thing is first, we're going to open up the side. Open up our garlic mashed potatoes. Wow. 
These heaters work pretty good. I mean, I can barely hold on to this package. It's that hot. Anyway, there you go. Here's your mashed potatoes. Let's go ahead and get them over here. Yep. Big time garlic smell coming from these. Go ahead and uh, gonna mix these up a little bit. Might have some cold spots in there. Ain't nothing worse than having cold mashed potatoes. Okay. I guess if you played your cards right. These taste pretty good too. Well, I'll show you what I'm not gonna do it, but what I show you what you can do. If you feel like it. You get the entree out. Got our beef stew, which is piping hot. Yeah. Heater heated it up really good. Stew. Go ahead and get that on there. Nice little helping there. Now, if you felt like doing it, what you could do is take your mashed potatoes and just put them over top of the beef stew, and you kind of have a little shepherd's pie there. But I'm not going to go ahead and take time to do that. But there you have it. Got your uh, crackers with peanut butter and apple jelly. Another apple or grape. This one's apple in this case. Carrot pound cake. They have several different kinds of pound cake. Carrot just so happened to be picked on this one. Got your garlic mashed potatoes, which are pretty good. And your main course beef stew. Let's give this a taste. Got a lot. Got lots of beef chunks in it. That's always good. I think it could use a little more seasoning, but not bad, pretty good. There was no other beverage powder other than the cappuccino in the iced tea. And I made the iced tea yesterday, so I don't think I need to show that again. So what I have to drink is just, uh, well, uh, strawberry kiwi powder drink from from Walmart. That's what gonna be my drink tonight. There you have it. Menu number menu number nine. Beef stew. Bon appetit. Stay tuned and I will post some more. Have a good day.